Hi, my name is Walter Maddox. I'm a sheet metal shaper and fabricator at Bare Metal Speed Shop in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I've had the opportunity to present the Mech Hammer Mark II. Um, I'll be producing a series of videos over the next 12 months demonstrating the capability of the machine. I've had the machine in the shop with me for about six months. Uh, it's been used almost every single day and it stood up to the abuse of a full-time working shop. I'm going to show some videos and some pictures of some of the work I've done with it, some of the projects I've used it on over the last six months, but before I get into that, I'm going to give you a basic understanding of the tooling that's available for the machine and some of the features of the machine that set it aside from a conventional planishing hammer. Some of the features of this machine that stand out right off the bat are the fact that it's lightweight, it's easy to move around the shop, um, it's electric, mechanical hammer, uh, can be plugged into any 110 wall outlet, there's no requirement for compressed air, uh, for hobbyists, for say are interested in using it at home or if you're in a shop where you don't have access to a large air compressor this is a great option. Um, a couple of features that stand out from a planishing hammer for instance are the fact that you have control over speed and force in your pedal. Uh, for anybody that's used a planishing hammer you know that most of the time it's a set speed uh, set amount of power, there's not much variable in your pedal. You end up having to adjust it ahead of time, find the right speed, and then go from there. Uh, with this machine, you can work in and out of a higher or lower speed, more pressure, less pressure, uh, depending on whatever you're looking for throughout the course of shaping your panel. Another great feature of this machine, and probably the most beneficial, is the capability of quickly changing your tooling. Um, with almost any other machine, it's a hassle and a process to change out the tooling. Uh, with this machine, it's very simple. It's releasing a crank, move your tool holder over, swap your die, place it back, lock it in. That's it. That simple, very quick, very easy. All of the dies hold the same height profile. So there is here at the base of your tool holders, there's a ring, a collar, locks into place. You set your height, get everything in line, lock it in, set it, forget it, it's done. That's it. You'll never have to move it again. Um, the beauty of this is, is that we have a lower, deeper throat arm that can be easily moved out of the way. Simply slide the next one right into place. Lock it in, done deal. Uh, the straight arm gives the option of a fence, which is also very helpful. This is easily adjusted, two Allen screws on the side, slide it anywhere up and down this arm. Place it where you need it, that's it. Um, the machine overall has really removed all of the hiccups and all of the hassle that you would encounter with almost any other planishing hammer and then has superseded that in the sense that it's capable of using more advanced dies, um, you have more control, it as far as I'm concerned has more power on average. Um, in that sense there's also more versatility in the fact that inside of your head there is a piston and a weight. Now there are three different weights available a lightweight, a featherweight, and a heavyweight. Um, your heavyweight for thicker gauge material, your lightweight for sheet metal 18 to 20 gauge, anything in that range, and your featherweight for something more malleable, aluminum or copper, anything in that range. There's not a whole lot to this. Um, there's a set screw on the back of the head. 
you can release the upper tool holder, drop it out. Everything is accessible through the bottom. The entire machine, you can tell somebody's put time into making it simple, making it easy, making everything easily accessible. So you don't waste a lot of time screwing around with changing components or tooling or modifying the position you need for whatever your project may be. Overall, I've had a great experience with this machine. It's very versatile and it's very durable. It's held up to a severe beating over the last six months. I put my hands on it damn near every day. Um, if you're anything like me, I am skeptical of anything I see online. I see a promotion for equipment or machinery online and it's hard for me to stomach when the footage is being shot in a staged work environment and I know that the machine actually has not seen any real work or abuse, it's hard for me to believe that it is what it is presented to be. Uh, I can guarantee you this machine has seen a great deal of intense labor and overall has been very, very pleasing. Now we're going to show you a couple of photographs of the machine being used and some of the projects I've used it on over the last six months and a few short clips of the machine in action. One of the great features about this machine is the capability of running asymmetrical dies. For instance, this is a dual crown die from one of the sets available. And what makes this special is the machining process of these dies, where the post of the die is actually cut to the shape of an octagon. And the bottom of both tool holders, there's the opposite cutout of an octagon shaped hole inside the opening. Therefore, you have the capability of locking the die into place without a concern of rotating or spinning while planishing. So right now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of one of our radius dies. This is a .75 radius with a little piece of tester sheet I have right here question I've gotten a lot of the time is whether the machine has the same kick or power uh, since it's an electric motor instead of a pneumatic head and the answer is it, it hammers just as hard as anything I've worked with as far as planishing goes if not harder. See there, it moves the metal around 
uh, quickly with minimal effort. And note the uh, quick tool change throughout these demonstration processes. The next die I'll demonstrate is a linear stretching die, a lower die. It's one of the asymmetrical dies with the octagon base on it. Drop it into place. See how quickly that moves in response to that die. So like I said, the machine's definitely not lacking in power. It's got a lot of hit for its size. It's engineered to do its job the right way. Thank you to everyone for watching. Um, please follow. Like I said, I'll be producing a series of videos, 24 videos over the next 12 months of the machine being used in the shop on legitimate repair panels for uh, vehicles and other projects. Uh, none of the footage you're going to see will be staged. It'll all be me working in the shop. Um, if you have any questions or anything specific that you'd like to see, uh, any of the process or the tooling being used, uh, comment below or you can find me on Facebook under Walter Maddox or on Instagram under Walt Maddox Metal Fab. Thank you very much.